YouTube, it's your girl Mamba, and welcome to my brand new channel. If you guys don't know me, a couple years ago I used to be a reactor here on YouTube, but I stepped away from the scene. It's been two and a half years, I think, and I am officially back. So this is my new channel. So for those of you who are old fans, you guys are Mambatrons, I love you. Thank you for waiting for me and, well, not waiting for me, but, you know, still being fans and following me. And for those of you that are new, Hola, my name is Mamba and we are going to have some fun on this channel with trailer reactions and movie reviews and everything nerdy under the sun. So I'm really, really excited. So obviously a couple hours ago, Marvel had dropped the official trailer for Marvel's Avenger Endgame, the last of the trilogy. This is really exciting. I have seen all of the Avengers. I have not seen Captain Marvel, so I know that ties into this. I will get to it. Okay, I got kids. All right, I, I need some time. Okay, but I have seen all the Marvel films that lead up to this. So let's get straight into the trailer. Right. That seems like a thousand years ago. I fought my way out of that cave, became Iron Man. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. The world has changed. None of us can go back. I like this one. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So I wrote down some notes. Okay. Okay. So this trailer was a little bit more on the calmer side. Um, they obviously don't want to give too much away. I'm pretty sure they're going to wait for, you know, the second or third trailer before they start giving a little bit of what they're doing. Uh, but we did see a couple of things going on. We have Captain Marvel already in, uh, th in the trailer and we have Ant-Man. So, you know, there's a lot of theories behind what they can possibly do to help bring back half the world. <laughs> um, so there's a lot of interesting theories all over YouTube that I've been watching and totally obsessing over. So I'm really enjoying that. Um, uh, also, you see a lot of flashbacks with Captain America and Iron Man, even Thor, because you see Thor talking to his father. So we see a lot of flashbacks. Um, what I like about this trailer more than anything is you seeing all of them in like a serious mourning period, obviously. Even Ant-Man, who's super super comedic he's the biggest comedic relief outside of just a sarcastic banter between dr strange and tony stark and spider-man it's really interesting to kind of see him in that really serious role um then we see a lot of hawkeye and we see a lot of natasha now that doesn't necessarily mean anything maybe there are big parts obviously of this but it could just be this trailer's focusing on them a little bit more um it's cool to see hawkeye 
Yo, can we just talk about his mohawk for a second? That shit was awesome. I mean, he's like 50 years old. This He's just rocking that. Um, but it looked like I, in one scene that he was actually training his daughter in archery, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know what that if that's going to tie into the movie a little bit or if that was just a moment with his family. Oh, so that was kind of cool. Um, and then we see that Thor has now a new, what looked like an axe, um, looked like a large axe now, instead of his hammer, obviously, because his hammer is gone. But uh, that that was pretty great. It, I, wonder, I, wanted, I wanna know what's up with that little moment between Captain Marvel and him. Uh, I was watching a YouTube video on Captain America, I mean, Captain Marvel, and a little bit about her backstory because Captain Marvel wasn't something I really was into when I was young, so I didn't know much about her. Uh, I knew a little bit, but not that much, and it's actually really interesting. So if you guys, you know, don't know the history, and I don't know how far they get into it in the movie, um, they, I know they talk about it, but you guys probably should check out some YouTube videos on her backstory, the actual character's backstory, because it's really, really interesting. So yeah, I was really excited to see Rocket as well. He looked like he was on War Machine, and that was awesome because Rocket's one of my favorites. So yeah, the trailer looked really, really great, um, really dramatic, and I'm really looking forward to this film. So what do you guys think? Do you guys have any theories of what Captain Marvel is gonna do? What, what theories, theories you're following with with Ant-Man? You know, um, post that down below. I would love to know. There's so many theories out there. And yeah, I'm looking forward to the next two trailers. And I hope they don't do, I just, I really hope they don't give too much away because I really want to enjoy this film. And I don't want Marvel to ever stop making movies. They can make Avengers 26 and I'll go see it. <laughs> anyway, you guys, that wraps up my reaction for the Avengers Endgame trailer. And I'm actually gonna jump into one more for today, which will be the new Aladdin one. I know total different sides of the spectrum, but come on, Aladdin, you gotta see it. If you guys are not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And I'm really excited to bring some really good content, guys. I will talk to you later. Peace and chicken grease.